in the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you my top bearish long-term pattern of all time. Hi, I am Sami Abusad. I'm a professional trader and director of education at T3 Life. Let me show you real quick what the pattern looks like. Here we go. First, you have to understand there's only one movement that all stocks or the market can make. There is no other movement possible. This movement is called the basic unit or the atom. And it consists of four stages, with stage one being dominated by ambivalence. Traders are basically not interested in the stock during stage one because they got hurt the last time they played it. That's why. Eventually, stage one always either breaks out or continues lower. If it breaks out, then you get that stage two uptrend, which is dominated by greed. Everybody starts thinking this is going to be the next Apple, the next Tesla, and they buy, 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 buy. Eventually, the stock, as all stocks do, it runs out of demand. It enters into stage three, which is uncertainty. It's the topping stage. As the stock breaks down, you get stage four, which is dominated by fear. As fear turns into panic, the stock accelerates or crescendos into a climactic sell-off. And the cycle repeats. This, here's what it looks like actually, this cycle on a real chart. You get the base, the breakout, the top, and then the sell-off, the stage four sell-off and back to stage one. Notice these narrow range bars. This is an, an important characteristic of stage one. You always get narrow range bars during stage one. I'm showing you also monthly charts because it's easier to see the cycle on the monthly time frame. But this cycle truly, truly happens on every time frame. One minute, five minute, daily, weekly, monthly charts, doesn't matter. You can see the same cycle on every time frame. Now, if you look at larger time frames, it's easier to see the whole picture, okay? But that's the cycle. Based on this cycle, I can tell what, you know, I can, I can figure out where the best entries are, where the best places are to enter into the stock. And in your opinion, feel free to, to comment in, in the comments below, in your opinion, what areas on the chart likely provide the best opportunities, long and short, is it A, B, C, or D? If you answered A and C, you'd be right. Okay? Transition A is the bullish transition that leads to a stage 2 uptrend. So this is the best area to buy the stock. And transition C is the breakdown which leads to a, a, a long-term sell-off. And that's called a transition C, which is what we're going to talk about today. So the vast majority of the time, transition C happens through a gap down. You see how the stock was in an uptrend, went sideways for a while. This is daily chart, which is what I use for swing and long-term trading. And then it gapped down and then gave us a 1, 2, 3, 4 pattern. A 1, 2, 3, 4 basically is the first bar is considered bar number 1, and then two resting bars, that's bars 2 and 3, and then the, the continuation lower. So you short under those bars with a stop above. Sometimes we get one bar, sometimes we get two bars after the gap down. So again, you get to the top, the stock was in an uptrend, gap down, and then we got only one bar. So this is called a one, two, three bearish continuation pattern. So short under the doji bar, stop above it. The blue line is the 20, the red is the 200, okay? Gap down, one, two, three, four, short. Gap down, one, two, three, short. Look at the moves. Look at the size of the moves, because this is an excellent opportunity to short the stock, an excellent point to short to enter short. Look at the stock gap down under nine months worth of basing from January through September, basically the end of September. That's nine months. It cleared all of that base, which means every single person that was in the stock long was now underwater. So when the stock starts to break down, guess what's going to happen? They're going to start to sell to minimize their losses, which creates more, which adds more selling pressure uh, to the downside on the stock. Same here, narrow range bar, and then a big time sell off, and it, who knows where it eventually continued to, but you get the idea. This is a wonderful uh, short opportunity when you get this pattern, okay? So in closing, I would like to say, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite pattern is. And if you'd like to learn more about what I do, 
please check the, the link in the description below. Thank you so much again for watching. I am Sami Abusad, Director of Education at T3 Live. Good trading, everybody.